Hi everybody, this one is a quick one around using maths whilst you're creating your dimension. So this is just a simple garage building I've just quickly created. So if we go into the main external walls, so sketch one, you can either double click or right click edit sketch. And going at the moment you can see this is in uh, metric, so I've got 9 metres length, 6.5 metres wide. But what you might actually want to do is start adding in what's called parametrics, so uh, I'll do a deeper dive on parameters on a later video but for example you might want this width to always be half the length so what you can do is actually you can open this up you can see here this is the dimension which we've just typed in but what you can actually do is reference other dimensions so the quick and easy way to do that is to go over and click on this and you'll see that fx that means a function so the mathematical term and what you'll see now is it's actually referencing d0 which is the first dimension we placed over here and now what I can say is that the width is always going to be half of the length so you can see now that this is fx, a function of something else, and it's four and a half meters. Therefore, if I go and change this to, let's say, 15 meters, <clears throat> you will see that it actually stays as half, and we are the same aspect ratio for all of that. So that's a quick way of using mass, and what you can actually use is it doesn't just have to be um, referencing other dimensions you can also you know if you can't think of something if you've got a difficult dimension normally when you're transferring from let's say inches to metric so if I know something is 12 inches and I don't know what the conversion is I can just do that right in here so I can say it's 12 inches times 25.4 which is uh, an inch in millimeters and then you can see that that will update that directly for me it's send that way off obviously because 12 inches is tiny so if I um Sorry, it's also done 12 millimetres, that's why. So I need to put in the inch sign, which is just there. And now you can see 12 foot, sorry. Um, and I've put that in there, which is whatever that is. It's a difficult one to add. But again, if you wanted to do something more simple, 15 metres divided by 2, which I guess it's the same. But what you'll notice now is if I change this to, say, 13 metres, that stays as 7,500. Whereas if I reference something divided by 2, then that it will always stay the same no matter what I change this to. And these follow Excel, so it's star or asterisk for multiplication, forward slash for division, the plus symbol for addition, the minor addition, the minus symbol or hyphen symbol for subtraction. And you can get really complicated, you can use brackets, and what Inventor will tell you is if this is in black, then it's solvable, and if it's in red, then it isn't solvable. And you'll see as soon as you start to make it solvable, it changes from red to black. So that's just a quick tip on using maths whilst you're using the sketch geometry. Another one to quickly mention is you don't just have to do it um, in the sketch. You can even reference it here. So you can even make this D0, which will keep it the same as this dimension here. Again, I'll do a further deep dive onto parameters, but you can see that I can do D0 divided by 2 in here as well. So just by typing it in. So you can see that then I can reference this sketch here um, and I can also click on it as well if you need to, if you didn't remember that it was D0. So there's plenty of ways you can start using maths and referencing different dimensions to make your design as parametric as possible.